So hello everyone, my name is Anjali and I'm third year BSM student from Aizar Bhopal. So in this video, I'll tell you people regarding the most trending and demanding course of I think all the Aizars. And I'm surprised to see that no one has made a video about it yet on YouTube. And it's a very good field and it has a lot of placement opportunities, career opportunities and those are very good. Like packages are also uh, very lucrative. So you people must know about it. So what is the course? It's none other than BS Economics at Aizar Bhopal. See, no other Iser offers BS Economics. Only Iser Bhopal offers BS Economics. And it's a different. It means PCB students, they cannot apply for BS Economics. Only PCM students or people with PCMB can apply for BS Economics. And how earlier the economic sciences also used to take admission through J.E. Advanced Rank and uh, through IAT also. But now, uh, as you people know, that the eligibility criteria has been revised and now the admission will, will be only through IAT channel, that is ISER aptitude test. So for BS economics also, you have to apply through IAT only. So ISER Bhopal offers natural sciences, BS engineering and BS economics. So very few people know about BS economics and it has a great, great, really great scope. So in this video, I'll tell about BS economics, though I am from biological science majors, but uh, I told Sayyam to make a video, but he's shy enough. So he has written down the points and I will be telling you all of those points. So it will be a very informational video for you. So BS economics, that is very different from BA economics. I know that you people know about BA economics and it's a, a arts branch. It's not, it doesn't come under science. So in this video, I'm telling about BS economics and see the eligibility criteria only says that only PCM students are allowed. Means people who have PCB, they are not allowed. If you have PCMB, then also you can fill the form. But see the eligibility criteria only asks for maths. So it's obvious that BS economics has a lot of maths in it. Do not compare it with BA economics because it's very different. You know, BA economics and BA, BS economics, they can't be compared. The, you know, placements are also, it has a lot of variation. So in this video, I'll tell you people about BS economics, BS economics. So yeah, if you people uh, are interested in doing MBA, after your bachelor's, then I think that BS Economics will be a very good course for you because uh, if you do BS Economics, then there will be, uh, it will be relatively easier path for you to do MBA. And uh, you must know that uh, if you are taking BS Economics, then you have to do maths. Yeah, the maths will not be that rigorous as BS Engineering, but you have to know a decent maths. Like I am a PCB student and I have seen their syllabus and their curriculum, so I cannot do it. Means, two years maybe my course will not be done in one year. It has a lot of maths in it. So PC and that's the reason I think that eligibility only doesn't allow PCB students to take economics but i have told you people there is a path uh, to take economics and i will pin that in comment section that link of the video so as you know that the demand has increased and a lot of people are doing mba but if you are uh, from bs economics then you will be having an additional you know benefit that is diversity quota so i you see that a lot of people do MBA nowadays. A lot of engineering people also do MBA. But since you're non-engineering and you get this, so you get the additional benefit that is diversity quota. So that will be a differentiator for you if you want to apply for MBA in future and you're from BS Economics. Even if you don't want to apply for MBA and you want instant placements, then also BS Economics is a very good branch for you. See, I am from Natural Sciences and at either there is no placement. I have made a video also regarding this, that there is no placement. And all the ISERs except ISER Bhopal offers the core courses only, Natural Sciences courses, that is PC, MB, Physics, Chemistry, Maths, Biology, Earth Science. So uh, this Engineering and Economics is offered only at ISER Bhopal. So yeah, so this is the plus point that in MBA you will get diversity quota and it will be a very uh, good benefit for you. 
so if you want to do mba then go for bs economics if you want to have good placement opportunity then go for bs economics because as per my knowledge what I, whatever i have seen at aizar bhopal see the placement opportunities of bs economics is more than bs engineering as per me and of course at uh, natural sciences we people don't get any placements we people have to do phd like most of vaise bhi people of natural sciences they opt for phd's only because yeah it's a research institute so the only purpose here should be to do research so yeah and if you want to take uh, if you want to do uh, mba or if you want to go for consultancy and if you want instant placements then you should go for bs economics so uh, see uh, engineering is a very saturated field as per me so you all know about engineering sciences and uh, a lot of courses and because you know everyone knows about engineering and medical so I'm, i'll not tell about that so in bs economics i have told that the maths will be required but it will be comparatively easier than uh, what maths is needed for bs engineering so you people can take uh, and yeah the professors at aizar bhopal of economic sciences they are really great you know uh, whatever it is my personal opinion that our teachers or professors should be our ideal like when we see them then the thought must come that oh i have to become like them uh, they are my role models and really we want to become like them here see the professors at all the departments of isers are very great so in bs economics also you will get a very good exposure if you want to get into research then also it's a very good field for you you can do ms and you can go for phd here some people are there who are pursuing a phd in economics and if you want a job then also bs economics is very good so you have both the paths open for you that is placement and phd that is jobs and research so that's the plus point and yeah uh, i must tell you regarding the cut off of bs economics so earlier aizar bhopal used to take admission in bs economics through jee advance so at that time the cut off was for uh, and yeah iits also offer bs economics course and the cut off is very high so i am telling you regarding that i uh, means i am giving you a idea that how competitive it will be and what will be your, what must be your rank so for pursuing bs economics at iit bombay your je advance rank should be under 1500 if you want to go to iit kanpur then the cut off is 2500 rank in je advance iit kharagpur it's 5500 in je advance if you want to have bs economics at iit roorkee then it's 4000 in je advance so this these are the only iits offering bs economic sciences but aizer bhopal also offers bs economics and earlier aizer bhopal used to take admission through je advance but now aizer bhopal will take admission only through iat that is aizer aptitude test so in aizer aptitude test the cut off as per now was 3327 for bs economics i am talking about general category but as you people know that from this year um, droppers are also allowed second year droppers are also allowed and then uh, je advance is also abolished for taking admissions in aizers so of course the cut off will increase so this rank 3327 this won't be this much it will be more competitive to take bs economics now so it will be competitive in all the departments not only in bs economics so i am i have told you the cut off rank so you must aim a rank under this only because it will be more competitive now and i have told you that maths is compulsory so yeah if you have maths in your plus 2 then only you can apply for bs economics at aizer bhopal you can have pcm or pcmb pcb students only pcb students they are not allowed you won't be able to fill the form also so this was all about bs economics so please come and apply for bs economics because you people i know that you people don't know about this branch and it's a very great and very lucrative branch if i would be knowing now i would be pcm student then i would have taken but i am a pcb student and i am here 
you know, I did not give, uh, uh, I did not attempt math section even in my ISER aptitude test. So because I was preparing for NEET, so I attempted only PCB and according to that, I'm here. So you people must know about BS Economics and say it's a great branch. So please apply and increase the cutoff. So that's all I wanted to tell. I hope that this video was very informational for you and you people like this video. So if you want to have a, a next video on BS Engineering or whatever you need, then you can comment down and uh, I'll make a video when I get time. So I hope that you people are studying and doing great with your preparations so study hard because now i think cutoff is gonna increase because uh, now j advanced people will also apply through iat only so uh, basically every year we see a more number of people applying for, for isers and now second year droppers are also eligible so yeah cutoff will increase so study hard and all the best i hope you like this video thank you